All right, so what wine is known as the Barolo of the South? Mm. Yes. Is it a Tarassi? Is it Alianico del Voltur? Is it uh, Sicily or is it Etna Rosso? Okay, so we have just uh, three answers in so far, so I'll give it a couple more uh, seconds for uh, folks to put in their answer. Okay, now they're coming through. So we have uh, some people putting uh, Taurasi as their answer, a couple of other folks putting um, Etna Rosso, uh, someone else putting Alianico. So what do we got for the answer? Taurasi is the answer. Nice. That is best known as the Barolo of the South. Excellent. High tan and red wine. Uh, so wonderful question to kind of give everyone a little bit of something to think about. All right, so our next one's a true or false. Fleury has expected aromas of tart cranberry perfume and minerality. This is a true or false question. Okay, we got the Truth Brigade with us here today. So everyone's saying true on, on this one. I hate to break it to you, but it's false. These are the aromas associated with Fleury. With Fleury, you think more of red berry, peach, iris, and rose, especially that minerality and that tart cranberry. That's the part that would really make you go question it. All right, so one, one quick shout out for Mary Victoria who put false, so nice, nice one on that. <laughs> Way to go, Mary. All right. I did try to put a few t difficult ones in there. So there's something to learn for everybody, okay? All right, so next up, what country is known for uh, ferment? Is it Greece? Is it Austria? Is it Hungary? Or is it Germany? Okay, the, the, the Smarties are back out. Everyone, 100% choosing Hungary as their, as their answer. And that is the correct answer, it's Hungary. And you know, please remember, you can always find uh, dry ferment out in the market nowadays, and it's really quite a beautiful wine. 